what is up guys today i come to you with my first impression of prince of stride alternative episode one so this is another sports anime that's coming out this year 2016 and it's a little bit different than all the other sports anime that you may have watched before so this sports anime is actually an adaptation off of an ultimate game if you already knew, then congrats. If you didn't know, then yes, it is from an Ultimate game, and it's turned an anime. So this also, what makes it different from other sports anime, it's not like your typical basketball, volleyball, baseball, soccer, whatever. Not, not to say there's nothing wrong with those, but this is based on running. And watching this episode, I thought, yeah, it's running, but I also thought this is parkour because you see the characters just flipping all over the place. They're jumping off of walls, flipping over a railings. And, and I thought this just isn't your typical running anime. This is parkour as well. So for the first episode, it was pretty average to say the least. Okay, nothing too crazy. I did really like the colors that they used, the, the, the colors and the visuals, everything, like, you know, they didn't look all blurred and it wasn't just like blobs of color, especially for the background and its characters. Um, it, the colors, the visuals didn't like, you know, mess up with your vision or anything. They were very stable and it's colorful, but not overly colorful that it says it, it makes you cringe, okay? And the characters so far, they're very likable. It's going to take me possibly within the next two or three episodes to really get everyone's name so far. But so far, the main character, you know, Riku, Riku, and then you have Sakurai, and then you have, um, what's his name? Um, Takaru. You have those characters. And then you have some other characters, Ko Kohina, uh, Kohinata, and some uh, Keith, and there was this other one with the glasses. Now, he's the one I forgot, but it's going to take me some time to really um know these characters very well so as you know a typical sh um sports anime there's always that underdog team that's looking for members in order for their club to grow because either one their club is not at full strength okay or two their club is close to being disbanding so they need more you know, more members in order to help their their whole um club to grow in order to participate in a competition the big competition at the end in this series, we have the end of summer competition. If you looked in the um, very first minutes of the episode, they hinted at a competition called the end of summer. So that's what they're going to be focusing on for the rest of this anime, that they're going to train and hopefully compete in this um, tournament. So, so far, like I said, the episode was good. It was decent. It wasn't too crazy. Um, by the middle to end of the episode, we have like a mini race between the four members of the club, the ones who are runners, to see if Riku, the main character, will join the club or not. Eventually, he does by the end of the episode, so they have all the members they need in order to participate in the competition that is to come. And by next episode and further episodes, we're going to see more teams coming by, and they're going to be their competition, they're going to be their rivals, and we also, you know, like in sports anime, we always have that probably one senpai who's quit the team, but eventually they bring him back or something, or he left and he's come back. So we do have a hint of that. It's a typical shonen, uh, I mean, sports anime. Um, nothing too crazy for first episode. Like the characters, I like the visuals. Um, the soundtrack so far, it's not too bad. Not not bad. It's actually catchy. You know, so that helped it. Um, the opening song is pretty good. You know, very catchy techno. So that's all I really have for this first impression. It was a decent episode. So I, I can see it growing more as episodes go by. And get hopefully the story gets better. Hopefully the way it's being directed by the director in the studio, um, the story progresses and it becomes a much more enjoyable show to watch. And I have no doubt because it's done by Madhouse Studios, so I, I have faith in them. So check out this episode if you haven't already. There are subs out. It came out yesterday, but in Raw, so if you have not seen the episode as of yet, I suggest you go check it out now uh, in subs. They have it up online. Also, um, tell me your opinions and thoughts on what you thought about this first episode. I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section down below. You can check me out on Twitter and Tumblr. If you'd like to become a member of Facebook page, it's in the description box. And I'm Kimmy Chan. 
of Anime Legends Podcast, and I will see you guys later. Bye!